Hey y'all and welcome back. So we're just gonna hop into this Barbie look that I'm going to do today. So you know I'm gonna start with my baby skin primer. Same primer that I always use. I'm not gonna use the illuminating one today because I don't feel like I need to. But then I'm gonna go ahead and color correct with the orange concealer from their LA Girl concealer. You know, same thing. And I just used it to cover up all the dark spots and blemishes on my face to get rid of all that. I didn't use that much this time, which is okay, because I didn't need to. But I just blend it out and then I set it with my airspun powder to make sure that it doesn't move under my foundation. So y'all, I'm really excited that I found my concealer that I was talking about in the last video. And I go ahead and put this under my foundation. I didn't talk about this in the last video, but I do this so that my bags can really be covered. And I let that sit there while I start on my brows. And my brows are still looking a hot mess, but I'm trying to wait till I go back to school before I get them done again. So I really wanna have to just tough through it. And I use the e.l.f. liner in the angled brush from the Gilded set. Same thing I used in the last video. My favorite products, I need probably need to get some more. But right now, this works. So we're gonna work with it and just fill in the brows. So while I fill in the brows, I wanna go ahead and apologize to you guys now, cause I didn't realize how overexposed the video was in some parts, so it gets really bright and you can't really see, but I do try to like show you guys a little bit later and I'll make sure that doesn't happen the next time, but we're gonna have to deal with it this time. But it's okay sis, we're gonna figure it out. But yeah, I just use the spoolie to blend in the brushes. So the brushes. Blend in my brows with the product, guys. You know what I mean. And I use the same concealer to carve out my brows. Just, you know, I like, you see, that's the highlighted that I wanted it last time, but I couldn't find it. But this is, this is where it's at. I use that to carve out under my brows and I use a foundation, the 322 Maybelline Fit Me Foundation to carve out the top. And then after that, I just blend down that concealer onto my lid to prime it. So when I start my eye makeup, everything will be okay. I don't start it right now like I usually do. I don't know why I did my face first today, but I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out and then get started with the face. So I forgot I had a lot more blending out to do. So I just blend out the foundation above my brows and I'm gonna blend out the concealer under my eyes after I fix my brows a little bit because they were looking a little wonky in the front and that's not okay. And I blend out the concealer but not all the way just so that it really highlights under my eyes. So then it's time for foundation. I use my same BH Cosmetics liquid foundation mixed with my Maybelline Matte Poreless Fit Me foundation, whatever it's called, and 322 Warm Honey. And I mix those two together and blend them out with the buffer brush from the Gilded set. And then I blend it in more to my skin with a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, which is clean today, guys. It's clean. Oh yeah, y'all, I just got this Mario Badesco, Badescu, however you pronounce it. The rose water, oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much, y'all. If y'all haven't bought it, y'all need to. It's only $7. $7. Like, that, I'm glad I got it because it's really, it smells amazing. My face feels amazing. And my makeup just goes on so smoothly now. Like, buy it if you haven't, sis. You know how I am about bargains. Then I conceal again with the same concealer, which I forgot to tell you guys is the BH Studio Pro Total Con Coverage Concealer in the color, well, the number 106. And I use a little bit because it is kind of bright. That's why I usually put it under my foundation, but I use a little bit on top and I blend it out. See, this is that overexposed I was talking about, y'all. Like, I'm so sorry. It's like every time I go on that right eye, well, I guess it's left in this video, but 
that it's my right eye. Every time I go on it, it just completely changed and I'm not really sure why I did that, but hopefully I can avoid that next time. And this is me setting with the airspun powder. I usually, you know, blend out first, blend out one eye at a time and then set. I don't know why I didn't do that today. My mind was all over the place, but it's okay because it still came out really nice. And you know, in the end, that's all that really matters. Like The application process is cool and all, but the final look is what matters. You feel me? You feel me. Y'all can tell my camera started to like slide because it fell right after this clip. So that's why it's so funny to me. But I just take the Morphe palette again. You know, I'm using this to contour. Guys, I'm getting a lot better. Like, I think i have figuring out some tips. It's really starting to help me out a little bit. Like, I stopped using angled brushes to blend it out. I started to use a stipple brush that helped me a lot. And then I also use like a cooler tone to go right onto my cheekbones to really contour with instead of it really being bronzy. Like it helps bring color back just a little bit more. I said cheekbones. I meant the hollows of my cheekbones. Y'all, it's been a long day. Everything has been all over the place. But I really wanted y'all to see this look because I really like this pink look and I, you know, I think my contour is amazing. So I really wanted y'all to see it, but my terminology is all off. I just used the airspun powder and the Real Technique sponge to carve it out. See, that also helped me last time I was using that brush. Looked a hot mess. Now it's looking better, y'all. Like, it really is. And then I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. Y'all know how I love the contour of my nose. And yeah. So then I just take some more powder and just carve out that contour just to make it a little bit more prominent and not look muddy because I did kind of go crazy with the blending. So I just want to make sure that that looks really nice and put together. Then I take that old foundation powder, you know, y'all know, and I sweep away any excess powder that's under my eyes, on my anywhere on my face. Anywhere on my face that there's powder, I sweep away with this. And it actually is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so it really works good as a bit highlighting also. Now we can finally get into the eye look. I just take this pink from the BH Cosmetics Matte Palette. I'm not actually sure if that's exactly what it's called, but I know it's all matte. No, it's a palette. It's really colorful. That's all that matters. So I just use this as the transition shade to just pop that all over my crease. And then I take this really cheap palette from the beauty supply store called the Perfect 32. And this thing was $5, y'all. And the pigmentation of the shadows are actually so good. Like, I couldn't even believe them when I first got them. This pink one is a really light shade. That's why it's like not showing up as much. But yeah, I go back into the BH Cosmetics one, pick a darker pink and just put that in my crease also. You know, I just go back and forth with the colors and until I get a pink that I like. Until I get that Barbie girl pink that I wanna like dance in, you feel me? That's all I do. And then I just take this detailer brush to really put that pink right into my crease to really darken it up so that when I cut the crease, it's gonna be poking out from behind. Hey y'all, do y'all like my towel? In my room, by the way, like I got right out the shower and made this video because I was like, I want to record today. So that's what I did. And then, you know, I just keep going back and forth before I do the cut crease. And I take a really small lip brush actually from the beauty supply store, but it's so small I use it as the cut crease only. And I take that same concealer, you know, my fave, and use it to cut the crease. And then I take this light pink shade from the same BH Cosmetics palette and, and use that to set the cut crease concealer. Yeah, 
Uh huh. <laughs> and I just put that all over my lid. And then I'm gonna go back in with that detailer brush and a smaller detailer brush to go ahead and really darken up the line of the cut crease with that pink so that it's really sharp and the cut crease is really sharp. Now I'm gonna show you guys a little clip that I made on accident because everything was acting up with the video and the camera was acting a mess. So I made a little video to show it exactly what the eye look looks like. That pink that I just used before and I used that on the outer corners just to blend it into the cut crease just to make it all really flow well together and I take this dark pink from that really cheap 32 palette and I use that one to define the cut crease. So this is how the eye look looks right now. I have to put lashes on and stuff off camera and I'll be right back. So next is the best part of makeup, all the highlighting that you need to do. I take the color Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance palette and I pop that into my inner corners and also as my brow bone highlight, my brow bone highlight. Y'all, I can't talk, I can never talk. I've been messing up with words for as long as I can remember. So just, just bear with me guys, bear with me. I next go in with this Wet n Wild blush in the color Mellow Wine. I finally figured out the name of it y'all. And I actually kind of put some on now. I'm kind of starting to like blush. It's only been like a week and a half since the last, uh, my last video and I'm really starting to be okay with blush and contour. Like, let's get in there. So I, didn't, I just set my whole face with the rose water and then I set my face some more with the NYX Dewy Spray and just make sure that all dries. And then when my face is semi-wet a little bit, that's when I start to go crazy with that highlight. So I sprayed my brush some more so it's wet. And I use this color from the Morphe palette and it has like a pink undertone. You can't really see it in this video, unfortunately. But it has a really pink undertone, so that's why I really like it. This might be my favorite highlight in the whole palette. And I just use that and put that all over the high points of my face. You guys know the drill and how I have to glow like that is... If I'm not glowing, my makeup was a waste of time. There's no point of makeup if you're not going to glow. I'm sorry if you had a problem with that, but you need to glow if you want to be finessing the makeup, okay? So this is where I decide to be a little extra today. I take the NYX Glitter Glue and the NYX Glitter. It's a pink glitter. I don't know the actual color. For some reason, it's not on the label. Upsets me. But I just pop this into my inner corner just to give it a little sparkle. And glitter is a mess, y'all. Like, if... Even if you don't need makeup, you know glitter's a mess. Even this little bit that I used was just like, ugh, all over the place. But it's okay, cause it really makes you, it makes the eye look just go a little bit of that extra mile. And you know, it's a Barbie look, so we gotta be a little extra girly with some glitter. So now to finish off the look, I'm gonna take this NK Auto Lip Liner in the color Plum just to line my lips and go a little bit above that. Then I take the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Lipstick in Trap just to put that on the inside of my lips. And then I take the NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. This is my favorite lip gloss of all time right now. I've been wearing it for quite some time. I've bought maybe three, four bottles of this. And I just put that all over just to put some glosses. You know, I love a good gloss, especially for something girly, like the look I'm trying to go for today. Then I just use some foundation just to clean up my lips just so that it looks really nice and that there's no mistakes. I spray my face with some more rose water just because I really love the smell, y'all. And that's the final look. That's how, this is the complete look of it. I popped this wig on. Let me know if you guys wanna know about this wig. If you, even if y'all want a video on it, cause this wig is my life. I just got it a few days ago and it has me living. Like, it's everything. But thank you guys, like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. Please share, let everybody know about me and Benzel's beauty. And I love you guys. Thank you very much for watching.